Welcome to the Creative Spaces Podcast with Guy Zwick and Scott Samil of Highway 85 Creative. In each episode, we will discuss creative ways to define your space and build your brand. Hello, hello. So good to be back in this chair and at Studio 85 with my people at Highway 85 Creative. I'd like to uh, kick right into this today's show. Um, I'm with Joe. I'm with Guy. You know them both. You love them both. Hey, now, hey, hey. You hey. and I were talking offline uh, I don't know, last week, a couple days ago, and you've been traveling a bunch. I know you're not going to be traveling that much anymore, but you have been traveling a bunch doing some corporate interior projects. And I thought, you know what? We haven't really talked about corporate interior. We yeah, talked yeah. about retail yeah. shops and showcases for, say, Howard Air and, and, and Brooklyn Bedding. But I was involved in a corporate interior project 15, 20 years ago because we had a big lobby and we had a showcase in the lobby. And we did some things um, that I thought were pretty cool, but it could have been way better. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so I want to I want to tee this up and just let you run with this. Um, corporate interiors. Um, are we talking? When I say corporate interior projects, are you doing lobbies or more than that? Okay, so corporate interiors. Um, I have a passion for it uh, uh, right now. Um, well, not that I didn't have a passion before, but. I find that, you know, we tour so many different facilities in our entry places, trade shows all the time. So I, I get, you know, over the years and, and, and recently I'm walking in so many different uh, companies, uh, amazing companies doors. And the number one takeaway I have is uh, the company's branding is left at the lobby. Let's pause right there. <clears throat> I want this on the right up. A corporate brand's brand stops at the lobby. Yeah, in almost all cases. I mean, they'll have a logo. They'll, they'll deck out the, 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 the area. They'll oh, have right, international right. clocks on the wall. They'll have some... So there is a bit of brand in the lobby, but beyond mm-hmm. that, nothing? In most cases. Ah, so and, is that, is that where we're going with this? The deeper you get into the company and the facility, the more it disappears. By the time, by the time you're on their dock, it's right. all... It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. That's funny. If you might imagine it's like a heat diagram. You know, you start here in the lobby, it's all mm-hmm. red, and you get back to the first two rooms in the conference rooms. It might be a little bit orange, and by the time you get to the bathrooms and the dock, it's all cold. It's it, all no, white. And it, it, it's so true. I mean, and, and, and it, I would challenge I would challenge some of these uh, these companies to, to assess themselves. I mean, I go, oh, probably number two, you have. Um, some wall placards with little names on about all your people, and then three, you probably have something maybe in your main conference room. Or like hallways have posters yeah. or artwork or something. And, and then, and then, and then and, and, and the older the company is, now the more fragmented your branding and experience for your own employees and, and, and staff and, and visitors and clients, uh, they'll get to see the legacy of, oh, there's the 90s rowing team, you know, Teamwork and then you go, <laughs> and then you diversity, right? And then you go, little, yeah. And then you go a little further, and you're like, uh, what? What is that? That's um, is that some kind of? Um, I don't know. I think it's some Native American artwork, and that was some CEO who had gotten something and put it on the wall as a gift. And as you work your way around, then you start seeing marketing things, and then you see the dates, basically. The the plaque for when they won best place to work in 1999. Exactly. Okay, so it just gets. And that's that's just the average, right? Um, and then, it, and that's pretty typical. And then, and then you have, and then I'd say you have some some others on the other spectrum. You know, these new hip companies that probably go way too overboard on this experience and branding, and, and there's a lack of substance, right? So, you know, there's some there's some kind of balance between the two. But so what we've been doing uh, recently, why it's so easy to pick on the nothing beyond the lobby is a, a, a lot of companies um, that uh, have been around for a while and we are stripping stripping down the old and trying to put in the new. And what I've had challenges in doing is saying, you need to do more than just remove what you had and replace something in its replacement. It's like, let's, let's really look at the flow of the building and the hallways. Let's really look at the lunchroom. Let's really see where your people collaborate. Oh, you have a huge group who smoke out there in a certain area. Well, let's let's create an experience that's over o- o- over there for them. Um, 
you know, health, 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 uh, uh, marketing. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, but, but, but all the way around, uh, is, is, you know, the, the, com- the company's values, the company's, uh, passion, the, the, it needs to bleed it subliminally and just blatantly throughout throughout right. the the building. And you know, you know, my mind goes to like the movie. it's a competitive space now. Sure. Jobs are not hard. To, you know, there's it's a competitive market. You're looking for the best in the talent. I keep hearing that too. Well, then you know, then have a have an environment that it encourages the best to do their best and, and, and to attract the best and show them that you're a company with some personality that's not stuck in 1999. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong in 1999. Like, just that it was 20 years ago. Yeah. No, but since so, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but like if you watch the intern, the movie Google, of course they Google's Google, right? But but and I'm sure they have a lot of fun branded stuff. But there's a lot of successful companies out there that give no no thought, barely any thought in the lobby. And after that, it's like okay, Q Q Q restroom, lunchroom. People can be doing so much more to infuse the environment with, with what that company is all about. Yeah. And they don't do it. So can you talk a little bit about the project you're on, or is that sort of secret, uh, secret stuff right now? You know you know who no, we should, should talk, talk about, about a little bit? They're not, they're not a client, but they're doing it so well is Infusionsoft. You remember walking into their building? like. <laughs> <laughs> so for you, I, no, you're not on video, guy. Just yeah, rolled his eyes. Yeah, he did yeah, super hard. Yeah. I mean, that's you most of what he does. Some things I show. He always gravitates to uh, infusion soft. The the, the the brownies and the infusion soft. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant. Uh, you're thinking infusion edibles. <laughs> no, I am not talking about infusion edibles. I am talking about infusion soft, oh. the software company. I can now, I can now speak, known as Keep. I can speak with experience that right now I know that guy's book's getting hungry because his mind yes. is just getting soft. Right. Yes. But let's just jump infusion yes. soft go. Yeah, so their their office is just amazing. Like you walk in and you know their brand and you know what they're about. Like they they have their whole mission like on a wall. Like not just their mission statement, but like actually like the mission with like dates about what, what, when they're gonna make what, it. What else? Like a what trip else to there? Mars and they they have a whole room that's about um like people's visions or hopes or goals okay. or something like that. You, like you walk in there and like you put it on the wall and like that's something that they're, they're really passionate about is helping their, their employees achieve like their goals and their dreams outside of work. And this whole room is all about that. Like okay. you just, you walk around and like you can see their brand and feel their brand. And there's like just a feeling walking into this space, like just being in, in their building, their office where people are working is an experience. You no, know, you know I think of when you say, thanks for the share. It's like, um, you know, people always say, or sales guys will always say, you know, I don't care if it's this product or that product. You know, product people buy from people, right? That whole, yeah, that whole right. Thing. The point I'm trying to make is, products pretty much are generally the same in, in a lot of ways, but a differentiator could be the people, could be the environment, right? If you're yeah. a company, if if, if um, Highway 85 Creative was exactly the same as these ten competitors, guys, like not you're a little bit different. Joe's different. Yeah, but that's what you're saying. You know, and what Joe's talking about, and not the poo poo it, but you're talking about a techno, hundred plus million dollar technology. Company. Right. And so, technologies are technology so companies are the ones that are a really cool place. Sure. I'd like to talk to an audience here, and I'm not going to tell who this client is, but this client, when they listen to this, I hope it's the catalyst for them to do something about what I've been nicely saying to them. Um, but let's just talking about a client right now. I'm going to talk about a client. Without, but you're not going to use their name. I'm not going to use their name. No, but they're going to know who I'm talking about when I say this. Um, I can't tell you their exact revenues, but let's just say the revenues range somewhere between, let's just say, a three and six million dollar company. Okay. okay? How I'm many? Saying, how many employees? Uh, roughly, uh, roughly maybe fifty. No, m- roughly maybe. 22 okay. staff members. Oh, good. Now you got a picture. So, you know, nice local mid size, you know, small to mid sized company, uh, has good legs on it, uh, been around, uh, great product, um, a lot of brand recognition, um, been around maybe 18 years now. Great story. Passionate owner. Um, she's amazing. You walk into their space. Oh, it is a she. Uh, you walk into their lobby. Okay, you walk. You come up to the building. Very beautiful building. Nice, beautiful logo. They have a beautiful logo. 
you, you walk in, there's a reception desk, and there is a giant conference room, okay? Dead black, dark. Uh, well, I can't say what's all in it because it might right. get this, yeah. this person away. It has some stuff in it, um, but it is scattered. It looks like a mess. It looks like a partial storage room of some cool stuff, but what's going on? Does something happen here? Does something not happen in here? Mm. There's a little couch to your right. Um, and so you spend your time while you wait to go into the real conference room, looking at this dead, black, dark, uh, roughly 20 by 20 space that is unfinished. And it is the first thing we see when you walk in. It's what you stare at when you wait. And when, when you're meeting with them, it's what you look at as you were looking at our window. It's what you look at the whole time. So I've said many times, why are we doing something with this space? Why is this like a junk room? Why do we have this, this, this in there? And what, what's their answer? Oh, oh yeah, we, we really should do something with that space. Yeah, I don't know. We've had talked about it. And that space has been that way for the last four or five years. Um, but I can just tell you that there are so many things that they could do with that space to A, make it more functional and useful, inspire yeah. uh, people, um, and it looks like, let me just say this because she probably does need to hear this. It looks like it, there's a skeleton crew working and it's a half dead company. It's the only place the lights are dead. And that's a big space. It's like leaving those lights over there all off and having it more scattered than our area looks over here. Uh, cause they're working over there. Um, and that being the first thing you see. So this is someone who didn't even get the lobby right is what I like to say, um, but the, the company itself is good. But if but but if you came, if if you came there, right? My first impression, if I'm buying from them, is I got to see a lot more. My first impression isn't like I'm excited to be here. Like I'm, this is awesome. I, I now I have to be sold even more. I need to see more. Can I see this? Can I see your warehouse? Is it you guys? You know, I literally think. It looks like they're half out of business. You know, this is, this well, is how they're not. And no, they're not. No, my point is, and you can say, well, listen, our business is online. Is the, but, and then, Joe, I'll give you, give you the conscience just a second. What, 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 I think, what I think of is it is a first impression thing. When you walk into a house that you're going to buy or rent, what's the curve appeal when you walk in? When you first walk in, make the main thing strong. Because if they're not, you're like, uh, what else do I have to worry about? Someone comes to you and wants to interview for a job. And they're late, and they're looking a little bit sloppy. And they're thinking, "Well, that's is that indicative of who you are as a worker?" So, don't shoot yourself in the foot, right? You, you don't have to spend tons of money, but just have a little thought. So, when we talk, uh, before I jump into the next thing, Joe, you wanted to say something? Yeah, kind of the the opposite of the example that you just gave of like when an employee showing up for an interview, how do they look? Do they look like they're a mess. Think about what that employee is seeing when they're walking into this space or potential employee. Like, I've never been to this space. I don't know. But, like, I just think about me, like, walking in as a professional for a job interview in, like, a nice shirt, wearing a tie, like, coming for a job interview, showing off my best. I walk in, and the first thing I see is, like, a junky space. And, like you said, few people working in it. It looks like this company is disorganized and going out of business maybe or struggling. Like, do I really want to work there? You know, like, am I going to have a job in six months or is this company actually going to take care of me? Cause they look pretty disorganized. Like, are they going to be able to get my paycheck? Right. Like, is this really a place that I want to work? And the last thing I could just add value to picking on that is, is, is also uh, what I'm saying is care about every inch of the building and the experience. Right. Like every, no, I, and I think it's, you know, it's a, and, and you keep going. simple, simple stuff. You know, people judge based on whether you have a clean bathroom or not. Hey, not I'm not going to, people, so, people on who I might be listening, again, God goes out of his way not to plug himself or his company, but as an outsider coming in, yeah, you guys were in a studio that's branded. You, you, you've done some things to your warehouse, to your production room that just gives you guys some personality. And I think back to my days working in the corporate world where it's, you know, row after row of these little, just pop up, you know, what do you call those little, um, not full on offices, like these little metal cubicles, cubicles, and duh, just have a blank moment, but it's cube central and there's no personality. Yeah. And there's nothing that, and it, and, it, and it makes a difference. And, and so some of the projects you've been working on is people acknowledging that, Hey, we should, we should take, put some thought into this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd like to, uh, when you're done with this job, Obviously, you're gonna take some photos, right? You can see some of that. No, I'm gonna secretly send this. <laughs> I'm gonna secretly send this podcast to her, um, and know that she's the topic. Here's a here's a link, and here's a picture. Yeah. <laughs>
All right. Okay. Have Thank a you. great weekend, everybody. Peace out. Thank you for listening to Creative Spaces Podcast. For more information about Highway 85 Creative, visit us at highway85creative.com.